Hi, this is Dr. Vera, and I want to talk about 1,4 glycosidic linkages between glucose molecules in particular. So let's draw an alpha, an alpha glucose to start with. So if you don't know about these, you can look at my last video that I posted that's all about alpha and beta glucose. So here we've got our carbon number six over there, and our other five carbons are in the ring. And again, every carbon's attached to at least one oxygen atom. So this is gonna be an alpha glucose. I'll just write glucose. And we're gonna have two alpha glucose molecules to start to make this chain. So another one, same as the first, CH2OH up here, our carbon number six hydroxyl group, hydroxyl group, hydroxyl group, hydroxyl group. So when these two alpha glucoses come together, they're gonna undergo a dehydration reaction, and that dehydration reaction is gonna give us a disaccharide out of our two monosaccharides. And so we're gonna get rid of one of these hydrogens and one OH group and that's gonna give us a water molecule, H2O. And it's gonna leave behind this oxygen here, which is now going to be bound to this carbon. So this is going to give us a disaccharide of two alpha glucose molecules. like this. Let me draw the other OHs first, our other hydroxyl groups. Okay, and now this linkage, we've got both of our oxygens pointing down, so our linkage is going to face down. And our final CH2OH. There we go. So what makes this a 1,4 linkage? It's because it's a linkage between carbons 1 and 4. So let's number those carbons. Here we have our carbon 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and carbon 6 hanging off the end. So there's our carbon 1. And oh, made my brush too big. Here we have our carbon one. Sorry about that. One, two, three, four, five, and six. You can see this glycosidic linkage is between carbons one and four. So we call it a one four glycosidic linkage. But what if we don't have alpha glucose? What if instead we have beta glucose? Well, we can look to see what happens with beta glucose as well. So let's start with one beta glucose molecule here. So it looks almost the same as an alpha glucose, and there's going to be that one major difference. Again, I went over that in the last video, and it's going to be this hydroxyl group. Instead of pointing downwards, it's going to point upwards. Now, if this hydroxyl group here, let me make it orange, this hydroxyl group here is going to join in with a hydroxyl group like the one over here that's pointing down, we're gonna have some weird stereochemistry going on. And so what actually ends up happening is that when these guys form a glycosidic linkage, we're gonna have one of the glucose molecules in the opposite orientation. It's just gonna flip upside down. It's gonna have the exact same chemistry and everything, it's just gonna be pointed in the opposite direction. 
So let's see if I can manage to draw one of those. There we go. And here we've got our hydroxyl groups. This is basically going to be a flipped upside down version of what we see above or what we see next door, sorry. And okay. So now we're gonna make a linkage using those two hydroxyl groups. So we're going to lose one hydrogen and one hydroxyl group, and that's gonna still give us water. So the same kind of reaction only now we're going to have a different looking molecule because one's going to be flipped upside down relative to the other one. So while this one still looks pretty similar to the one on top with the CH2OH coming up on this side, it is going to have this difference of having the oxygen pointing upward, so that bond's going to point up instead of down. The other side of this is going to be flipped in orientation. Now everything else is going to look the same as this one here. You're just going to flip it in your head or you can turn your piece of paper upside down when you're drawing this and uh, draw it again that way or cut it out and paste it on if you want. So here this bond's going to look like this. There's our oxygen in the ring. Here's our CH2OH carbon number six hanging off the end. Hydroxyl groups, oh my goodness, I left off a hydroxyl group here. Whoops, oh my gosh. A carbon with three bonds, that's not gonna work. Okay, here we go. There's our last hydroxyl group and it's back on. It's always a good thing to check, make sure your carbon has the right number of bonds on it. So this is what our beta glucose disaccharide is going to look like. And we can figure out what kind of linkage this is if we count our carbons. So here we've got our carbon number one, two, three, four, five, and six. So we can count our carbons over here in the same way. Here we've got one, two, three, four, five, and six. So if you flip that upside down, you can see that all of the carbons have the same numbers in both of these two molecules. So if we look to see who's forming the bond, we can see that it's that carbon one and that carbon four. So this is still a one four glycosidic linkage. Just now one of the glucose molecules is in an upside down orientation compared to the other glucose molecule.